Creating a component library can be tricky. You need to manage and visualize your components in the right way. And that's where Storybook comes in. Here we can create a story for each component that we have and anyone on your team, doesn't matter if it's a technical person or not, can come and see exactly how is each component going to look on the project. In this video we are going to cover Storybook implementation and also creation of stories for some Shadsy and components. Let's dive in. We have here a fresh copy of Next.js and four components from Shadsy and UI library. And our task here is to create stories for these four components. First thing we need to do is to initialize the storybook. So we are going to their main website. I'll put you the link in the description below. And here we are clicking get started. Then we are going to Next.js and we are going to follow this documentation to install our storybook. Now we're going to run the npx latest init command in our terminal and that one is going to install the storybook version 8.1.10. So we are proceeding with that and that one is now being installed. It took around 60 seconds for the installation process and now it's automatically running on our port 6006 and here we can already see some examples of stories in our storybook. If we check now in our code, you can see that we have a storybook folder where is the main TS, which is the main configuration file that we are going to update in order to see our stories. And also you see here that it's shooting the stories directory and it's this one. And there we have the button header and page, which is just the dummy components from storybook. And they're showing us here how we can actually write our stories. And now we have to create the same thing like in the stories folder in our components UI folder. And for that, I'm going to create new folders for each component that we have. So we need our badge, we need our button folder, we need our calendar and our drop down menu like this. And I'm going to place each component in that folder. And why am I creating this? It's because it's much easier to create stories in every folder. And now when we structure it like this here in the badge, we can create badge dot stories dot tsx. And if we need anything here, like some types or something, we can create types dot ts, which are used only in this component or something like that. So I definitely recommend creating a folder for each component in your component UI library. Now we can actually create our badge component story. So I'm going to copy everything from this example from storybook button and I'm going to paste it inside of our badge. So here I'm going to import the badge component from here. So from not from button from badge. So from this file here, and we are going to replace each button with badge. This title is determining how is your storybook going to be structured. So I'm just going to put UI badge. And we don't need all these comments. Let's make it as simple as possible. And arguments types, I'm going to delete that one. For arguments, let's see what do we need. But first, let's delete all these things from here. And we are just going to leave the primary badge. So I'm going to delete also the arguments from here. Let's check what our badge actually needs. So we can put variant and we need also our children here. So I'm going to put in the arguments, we need our variant and we are going to put default to be the primary one. And also we need children and there we can just put, let's say children. Okay. So we can remove also this tag auto docs and our layout is centered. So everything now looks fine. Deleting also this one that is not used. And now we actually need to set up our storybook to see this file. For that, we are going to the main TS for storybook. And here we can see that this one is now shooting the stories directory. 
so we don't need that we need our components and then ui directory so we are currently here we just need to rename this one to components and then ui and this one should work so let's test it out if we go to our storybook and refresh nothing is happening let's restart quickly our storybook so that's pm pm storybook like this and now our storybook here it is so here we have our badge let's see if it is working and nice it's working it's just not like the variant that we need let's see what's going on we are probably missing somewhere the tailwind and everything so if we go to our main ts here we also have preview.ts so we need to import our globals.css here and that one is easy we just import from our app globals.css and that's this file here and now our tailwind should work so let's refresh and here it is our badge is now working and this is our default variant so we are going to call it just like that in our story instead of primary we're going to call it default and we don't need those arguments here and now we can create also other variants to display them here in this story to do that we are just going to copy this part of our code and we are going to create outline i think there is an outline yeah outline destructive and secondary and here we are going to pass arguments and we are going to put variant to outline just like this and now we are going to do the same thing for destructive just here with the small d and what was the last one that was outline destructive and secondary so we are creating here our secondary variant and if we check now here our badge component we have default outline destructive and secondary so default and outline are the same is that one oh because here i placed the default so here it is default outline destructive secondary and we finished our badge component and now it's pretty much just copy pasting everything and we can do the same thing for the button for example and here we are going to create button.stories.tsx and copy pasting everything from badge instead of badge we are calling our button and here just a small b and we can just check it out if it's working so here we have our button we have our default button outline destructive and secondary good thing is that all variants are named the same and there are a bunch more of options in storybook and we are not going to cover them all their documentation is pretty big and you can do a lot more than this that we saw in this tutorial soon i'm going to start creating a ui component library and we are going to cover much more of storybook options there i hope this was helpful for you warriors if you need anything else there is a discord channel you have an invitation in the description below and don't forget to subscribe